All right, so this was a really nice, short, quick video this week that I wanted to explain the different ways uh, to avoid ruining your isolation when you create holes for electrical. A lot of people may get obsessed with like, oh, I just do this really soundproof wall and then you cut a bunch of holes in your wall and then don't use putty pads or don't use acoustic sealant and you've just ruined your entire uh, uh, soundproof system. Same thing in the ceiling. A lot of people might put putty pads on the wall outlets but forget about the ceiling outlet, uh, outlets or even ceiling light fixtures and that creates a problem. So all of this to say that the logic is simple. It's make sure it's airtight and then add mass around anything. So the putty pad sort of acts as mass in this case, and it helps with achieving the soundproof studio that you are after. My name is Wilson Harwood. I am an acoustician and studio designer based in Nashville, Tennessee, and I design uh, home recording studios all over the world. And I'm here to help you guys out with learning how to design and build your own soundproof home recording studios. 